I know it's a lonely place, but you'll be safe. Tara and I will be back to wake you up before you know it. Hey everyone, I have a quick theory for you all today. Now, as we know in Kingdom Hearts 3, we will be saving Ventus, Terra, and Aqua at some point. Currently, Ventus is still asleep within the Chamber of Waking, as far as we know. Terra is missing in action, but is more than likely still under the control of Xehanort. And as we have recently seen, Aqua is now also under the influence of Xehanort. Now, while the Aquanaut twist was brilliant and leaves us the question of how will we save Ven now, I propose that another member of the Guardians of Light may be able to track down Ventus' location within the Castle of Oblivion. And this character is Roxas, but before we get into that, we need to discuss why the Seekers of Darkness are still searching for Ventus. Now, currently we know Venetus is searching for Ventus, however, Xemnas in the past has also been trying to track down the Chamber of Waking for a fair while now. Xemnas would specifically send Axel into Castle Oblivion on multiple occasions to find the Chamber of Waking, each time though Axel found no trace of it. However, now the Seekers of Darkness have the advantage with Aqua amongst their ranks and have knowledge and access to Ven's location. But back to Roxas, however, I believe that he'll be the one to find Ventus for the Guardians of Light because of two different pieces of evidence. Number one, Roxas has access to parts of Ventus' heart, for example his appearance is based off Ven and not Sora. Now while that is just stating the obvious, the real reason why I believe Roxas is how we will find Ventus stems from a cutscene from way back in 358 over two days. A cutscene in which Roxas and Axel travel to Castle Oblivion in search of Shion. However, shortly after arriving there, Roxas collapses in pain. He begins complaining of nearly being able to see something or someone. Now what is so interesting about this cutscene is that what else within Castle Oblivion besides the Chamber of Waking could be having this effect on Roxas? This is after the events of Chain of Memory, so Sora has presumably been moved into the Twilight Town Mansion in his sleep pod. Now I believe that Roxas was in pain and was nearly able to locate Ventus due to the proximity of the two of them being in Castle Oblivion, and with Roxas carrying a piece of Ven's heart. Now let's get into how I believe these events could play out within Kingdom Hearts 3. We see Sora using Anson the Wise computer in the mansion's basement to jump back into the digital Twilight Town for the Kingdom Hearts 2 tutorial. He wants to get Roxas' data body as a vessel for the return of the normal Roxas which in a way almost makes coded seem relevant to the actual story, but anyway. At some point in Kingdom Hearts 3, I believe that the Guardians of Light will travel to Castle Oblivion. It should also be noted that Ienzo seems to be assisting Sora with bringing Roxas back as we've seen in recent trailers. Anyway, back to Castle Oblivion. I specifically believe that Roxas and Lee will travel there from the guidance of Ienzo as both Lee and Ienzo have access to memories from their nobodies about Xemnas having a secret agenda regarding the Chamber of Awakening. In Lee's case, he discussed it with Sykes, and Ienzo was made aware of his existence after discussing it with Zigba. And it is obviously within the best interests of the Guardians of Light to figure out what exactly is in within the Chamber of Waking that Xemnas wants so much. Now, I believe that Roxas will act as a compass in a sort of way, being able to track Ven down within the castle. However, I believe that Sora, with Master Ericus' Keyblade, will be the one to undo the lock placed upon Castle Oblivion by Aqua. I believe this purely because of the E3 2013 reveal trail of Kingdom Hearts 3, in which Sora picks up the Master Defender off the beach of Destiny Islands. And sure, you can say this trailer was over 5 years old, and the story of the game might have been changed in that time, However, as we've recently seen, Aqua is actually no longer in possession of the Master Defender Keyblade. Instead, she has a whole new Keyblade. And not to mention, if Aqua abandoned the Master Defender to Keyblade at the Dark Margin, then it is likely that it somehow has ended up back at Destiny Islands via the Door to Light, similar to how Riku and Sora returned home at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. So there you have it folks, Roxas will be our new secret weapon in Finding Ven. Lee and Ienzo will want to investigate Castle Oblivion and try to undercover what is within the Chamber of Waking. And Sora will go on to wield the Master Defender as Aqua is abandoning it, and then he will use said Keyblade to unlock the Chamber of Waking. Now I know this is incredibly hypothetical and out there, but bear with me, I believe it is possible. Anyway, feel free to discuss with me in the comments. Thanks for listening.